Good morning. This is Pastor Jeff. I'm here for our daily lectionary readings on Thursday, October 19th, 2023. Our psalm reading is Psalm 96, 1 through 9. Our Old Testament reading is Judges 17, 1 through 6. And our New Testament reading is 3 John 9 and 12. It is Thursday, so we are looking ahead what is happening on Sunday. Psalm 96. Sing God a brand new song. Earth and everyone in it, sing. Sing to God. Worship God. Shout the news of the victory from sea to sea. Take the news of his glory to the lost. News of the wonder to one and all. For God is great and worth a thousand hallelujah. His furious beauty puts the other gods to shame. Pagan gods are mere tattles and rags. God made the heavens. Royal splendor radiates from him. A powerful beauty sets him apart. Bravo, God, bravo. Everyone join in the great shouts. Encore! And ah, we before the beauty. And ah, before the might. Bring gifts and celebrate. Bow before the beauty of God. Then to your knees, everyone worships. Old Testament reading is Judges 17. There was a man from the hill country of Ephraim named Micah. He said to his mother, Remember the 1,100 pieces of silver that were taken from you? I overheard you when you pronounced your curse. Well, I have the money. I stole it. But now I have brought it back to you. His mother said, God bless you, my son. And as he returned 1,100 pieces of silver to his mother, she said, I had totally consecrated this money to God for my son to make a statue, a cast God. Then she took 200 pieces of the silver and gave it to a sculptor, and he cast them into a form of God. This man, Micah, had a private chapel. He had made an ephod and some telephone to idols and had ordained one of his sons to be the priest. In those days there was no king in Israel. People did whatever they felt like doing. Our New Testament reading, 3 John 9 through 12. Earlier I wrote something along this line to the church. But Detrophus, who loves being in charge, denigrates my counsel. If I come, you can be sure I'll hold him to account for spreading vicious rumors about us. As if it weren't bad enough, he now only refuses hospitality to traveling Christians, but tries to stop others from welcoming them. Worse yet, instead of inviting them, he throws them out. Friends, don't go along with evil. Model the good. The person who does good does God's work. The person who does evil falsifies God, doesn't know the first thing about God. Everyone who has a good word for Demetrius, the true self itself stands up for Demetrius. We concur that you know that we don't hand out endorsements lightly. Word of the Lord. This ends our readings for the day.